yourself week. Do to yourself week. What is that, do you ask? <laughs> you guys love puppy week so much, so we're bringing you back another themed week. And this week is do it yourself week. So inspired by Movember, inspired by their male audience, inspired by our male friends, mm -hmm. we've been asked to do these DIYs and we just thought it'd be nice to like sum them up in this one week, have videos on different platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and right here. Mm -hmm. So these are a collection of DIYs that were requested by our male audience and also we wanted to just put do it yourself in the title so that guys don't get intimidated by our sweet little faces. <laughs> and uh, come watch this video because we have some pretty interesting content. Yeah. So today we are doing a collab with our very good friend Anthony who happens to be a dude, so this is perfect. We are making an industrial pipe kind of capsule wardrobe inspired clothing rack. All right, so before we head over to Anthony's, we're gonna give you the quick lowdown on this piece of wood we're bringing with us. All right, so now we're here with Anthony in his very cool loft. We've hey been guys. friends in the community for a while now, but you need to tell everybody what you do on your channel. Yeah, so I'm kind of like the men's beauty guru. Essentially, that's what people call me. Yeah. I don't know if I really call myself that, <laughs> but it's like I do men's fashion, I do men's hair, grooming, skincare, all that. And so many people ask me to do this DIY. So this was like a perfect pairing. Like these girls know exactly what they're doing. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Yes, I'm so excited. Should we get into building this thing? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I had some questions before we even start. So I've looked at this stuff on Pinterest before mm -hmm. and I've had guys ask me to do this even before I kind of outfitted my place. How do you start picking wood and like picking the pipes and deciding like that's what's the best option when mm -hmm. building this? There's definitely options in price ranges that you can do 100%. Like you can go to a special like lumber yard and get like the premium, nicest, smoothest, whatever. Um, or you can go to your local like home depot place um, and get, you know, cheaper wood. It really depends on how much you want to spend. Yeah. This one was about $8 for a board double this length and they will cut it there at the hardware store for you for free, which is great. So, I mean, that's a pretty good option to go with. Yeah, I think this wood's pretty good. And especially if you're if you're picky, you can always sand it and make it even nicer. Yeah. If you want to. Yeah. Plus I imagine like with the second half, you could create shelves if you yeah. wanted to get like mm -hmm. really intricate with this, but like yeah, I think simple makes sense to show it. Yeah, the more expensive parts are actually all these like connector pieces. Yeah. Um these will run you about like five dollars a piece. So once you add all the shelves and the levels you're starting to add more connector pieces and that's where it can add up. Yeah, and the pipe as well, you have a little bit of choice too. This is standard, just black pipe. Um, they have a silver option that's thinner and a little bit more inexpensive. Or if you want, you know, the copper pipe that everyone loves, that's even more pricey than this. So it all depends on what the look you're going for and how much you're willing to spend. Yeah. Okay, okay. so then we're gonna break this into two sections, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. right? So base and then actual, like, rails. rails itself. Yeah, we have the wheels that are gonna be on the bottom and then the rail that's on top. So mm -hmm. we're gonna start with the wheels. Sure. All right, I'll give you guys some wheels. Okay, thank you, cool. thank you. We could measure these, but I don't know. I'm kind of thinking just freehand it. Just freehand free it. it. So this is another cost saving tip. Yeah. yeah, these wheels are about $2 a wheel, but if you want the 360 ones, <laughs> those are like seven, ten dollars a wheel. So again, and you can get them in like gold, which is really nice, but again, more money. And then we have to share this one screwdriver. Cool. All right. We're good. Nice. Oh Nailed so it. So we made a skateboard. <laughs> we made a skateboard. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, she works. Awesome. So we need. I would assume we need to measure the width of this plus like the rods in order to understand where the connectors. Are. Yeah, there's two ways you can do this. You could measure and line these up, but if they aren't the right width by like a centimeter, they won't screw in. Right. So uh, we're gonna build the U part first. Correct. Okay. With cool. this on the bottom, so, so we, we just, just place stand it on, in. and then you can measure there. So yeah. You know for sure. Exactly. So also talking about the pipes, the there was two sizes we had options from, right? There was a shorter size and a longer size. Mm -hmm. You can get them cut, um, probably at your hardware store. Yes, you can. But we didn't just because it's a bit of a more like lengthy process because they come threaded, yeah, as opposed to a copper pipe that you can just straight cut. So mm -hmm. if you're gonna cut this, you need to re-add the threads on, which is a bit more. But they'll do that for you. Right? They'll do it for you. 
But luckily, these are in an alright size yeah. for us to make this clothing rack, so we just went with the standard ones they had available. Yeah, I mean, if I, even like naturally thinking, like if I'm gonna hold something or if I want to put this in a video and show pieces, yeah. like it's the right height. Yeah. Do the connectors require like anything other than just like actually just twisting on? No, you can like probably add a little bit of glue, but um, I think that they're gonna be fine just thread it on. So this is a double threaded corner piece. So we're gonna thread it on this one and then we'll be able to add on the crossbar piece at the top. And it won't go all the way on, but like that's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then we'll add, Do you add yours. Yep, yeah, sure. But if you got, I mean, if you got the threading custom, I'm sure that they can also make the threading less visible. Yes, probably, if you really yeah. want it. Definitely. Perfect. Cool. Perfect. Cool. And then we're gonna add in our short bra. Yeah, can we'll hold that? Sure. Wait. Can they be done simultaneously? Because they need to be spun in the Let's same direction. Let's try. Wait, what happens if mine has to be twisted the opposite direction? So now I'm going to, I have to twist. So we're going to have to twist this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Literally, one person holds it on the ground and the other person walks around like this. Okay. Wait, wait, Put that on here. Because oh. then we can just walk around like this. Okay, hold on. We figured this out, guys. So what you actually need to do is put the corner piece on this long piece, add in your uh, short bar into this corner piece, add on this corner piece, and then this guy can just Go right. up and screw it in last. Boom. In? Awesome. Brilliant. Brilliant! We did it! Now, I'm assuming you add the base before that and then you lay it on top. And yeah, and just sit it on. Exactly. So then you don't have to worry about measuring these out and hoping it lines up perfectly. We brought a measuring tape, but like, psh, don't make it harder for yourself, guys. No. Okay. So we're just going to take these and screw them onto the bottom of these. So if you guys are looking on screen right now, you can see that we have the board and the actual um, rods placed on top of it, simply just to show where they're going to rest. Like we haven't screwed anything in, uh, screwed anything in yet, because you want to make sure that it like lines up pretty evenly. Mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. So we're gonna actually use a measuring tape to do this, just so, so that we make sure that the width up there is the same width down here. Yeah. Ninety degree angles are sturdy. Yeah. It's true. So let's go ahead and give this a measure. Yeah. So it's about 37 inches. Okay. So we come down here. And let's make sure those are about, and let's make sure that this is about 37. So bring your over side in a bit. A little bit more. Yeah. Right there. So that's about a good distance apart. So okay, honestly, how long did that take you? Like, honestly not long, a couple minutes. If you think, if you honestly think about like the screwing time, like less than 20. If yeah. we had our drill. Yeah. Just, you could make this in an hour. Yeah, yeah seriously. No problem. It's crazy. It I'm, I'm awesome. very impressed at how quickly it took us and it looks amazing. Yeah, I love the black pipe with the dark wood. Like this looks so expensive, which is my favorite kind of DIYs that we do where things don't cost a lot, but then they look really, really expensive good. in yeah. the end. Amazing. 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 And we're done. And we're done. All right. Do you love or do you love? I love. I Honestly, it fits so well in my apartment. Like if you look at the video, I live in a kind of like industrial loft. Yeah. So this blends so well. It's so much more affordable than some that I'd seen in stores. Oh my goodness. This could easily go for $200, $300 in like yeah. a high fashion designer like piece store. Yeah. yeah. And I love how you can customize it to whatever you need. If you need like more shoe racks, you can make it low too and just kind of do like some wood shoe racks. Yeah. And I know we saw Anthony's shoe collection. He needs <laughs> he some needs shoe it. rack. We can hook him up, do some other DIYs in the space. Let us know in the comments. Let us know if you want to see another collab with organizing some shoes. On my channel, if you guys want to take a look, we did a video on distressed denim, some different techniques and tips. <laughs> Let me just see if I can lift this up here. And they apply to like jeans, they apply to jackets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it works for everyone. And I know that distressed denim has been requested by you guys on this channel, so you can go check us out doing that with Anthony over on his channel. If you're one of my subscribers, uh, say hello in the comments and make sure to subscribe to these girls. They do an amazing job. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we do DIYs all year round. Yeah, much. and as you know, the series is called Do To Yourself. We're doing dude DIYs on multiple platforms, um, but we do DIYs that will apply to dudes other times of the year too, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. 
And for a lot of the girls watching too, like a lot of the tips and stuff that are on my channel are unisex. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if any of you are interested in hair care or skin care, you know, you might find it useful. Go subscribe, you will love it, I guarantee. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure that you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time <laughs> or like on Anthony's channel. <laughs> or on my channel. All right, bye, <laughs> bye guys. Bye. All right, here's some other videos you can check out during do-it-yourself week. This one here is on Facebook. Uh, it's pretty sweet if you're into sports. I liked this one the best. The soap dispenser turned out so amazing. What about Snapchat? Are we doing Snapchat too? We are doing Snapchat, but there's no clip for it because it's happening live. See you Friday. Make sure you guys are following us on Snapchat. Bye. Bye. <laughs>